Hello, in this video we are going to implement the ESP IDF code that is, was already shown before inside Arduino environment and the purpose of this is using all those ESP IDF libraries that we explained before and look how we can implement inside the Arduino environment because it's a very common and easy to use environment and many people do use it um, as regarding to our to our sources we start with sim IoT devices repository here you can see a lot of repositories which cover uh, a lot of subjects implemented in ESP IDF environment and our purpose in this video is to take one of those repositories and uh, run it inside Arduino environment for example let's take uh, this repository which deals with saving permanently in flash memory string and int values and in this case we will use a int example this example was shown in the previous videos and executed in ESP IDF environment what we are basically going to, to do is to take this and implement it inside Arduino environment okay let's open Arduino environment and let's put this here and what we have done we just took this part and put it here and we left the basic Arduino setup for the AUART to just to be able to put the data on chip and inside Arduino loop we put this part here this part we put here till here then we wait for 10 seconds and uh, so on so we're expecting in this case um, to write a value int value in the ESP32 uh, chip uh, memory okay so let's connect the ESP chip let's run the program now by using arduino environment we are writing this code to the chip okay and what it's uh, basically do it reads the data from the memory that i put previously say one 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 it's this value this value and uh, read the data now for example i will disconnect the chip i disconnected the chip and now i want to put like uh, two 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 new data save it i connect the chip again and run it again the good part is the uh, compilation is uh, pretty fast uh, here okay the new loop he's still reading the old va old value but writing a new value okay i will disconnect the chip now the chip is disconnected and now i will connect the chip again and run it again and i expect to 
read data from the beginning the new value. Okay. Okay. I will disconnect it now. Let's just go, go over what's happened here. Our first run, it was a 1111 in the memory. Then we disconnected the chip. Then we wrote 222 in the memory. And the third time when we connected the chip, the new value was already saved in the flash memory. This example was explained before inside uh, 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 this repository here free art was this PIDF NVS and uh, it's covered in the previous video from the ESPIDF point of uh, view uh, but here we, uh, pu we, we put this code we put this code here inside free art of this PIDF Arduino just to show that the same code can run inside the Arduino environment. So what we are saying is all those examples that you see here, and let's see here, and repositories. You see it's a lot of different repositories with a lot of different examples written in ESP IDF environment can be run inside Arduino Arduino environment. Uh, just one remark, not all the code that is written here will be so simple, just put it in the Arduino it with will work. Some code will uh, need some adjustment and maybe in the future I will talk about it. But basically this uh, ESP IDF is uh, the basis of Arduino for ESP32 so the code as is can be run inside Arduino environment. Thank you.